They want to help people. They want to be firemen. They want to be doctors, nurses, teachers. I've just come away from my son's class assembly, the final one he'll do as the bottom year, as the youngest year. And they were doing it all about what I want to do when I grow up. And it got me thinking, you know, no kid, when they want to grow up, wants to be cynical. They all want to do things. They want to help people. They want to be firemen. They want to be doctors, nurses, teachers. But it got me thinking about my Giant Steps video, which has been a bit controversial and has been... I basically, I had to take the decision to close the comments down on that video the other day, which I don't like doing, but every time I was checking my YouTube app, I was just dealing with, with people who basically want to throw stones at it. And it's far easier to throw stones at something than to build something. And the sad thing for me was every single person who was making a negative comment, even if it was a constructive negative comment, which it's fine, but there was a hell of a lot of in deconstructive stuff. and just basically, well, why don't you play Giant Steps and this, that, and the other. None of those people had actually created their own content. That's not to say you have to comment, you know, you have to create, you know, to comment, but I believe if you're gonna go out there and be overtly critical and kind of start preaching your point of view, create your own content, guys. Build a channel. Don't throw stones at my channel. Don't throw stones at my videos. Build your own channel. Let's hear what you've got to say through your videos. It's not easy to do, is it? We're all bad at this, but I think artists are worse than most people in this picture. Where we see there can be 99 people who are really enjoying what we're doing, who are tapped in, who are praising us, who are, who are brilliant, lovely people, kind people, who are helping us build our house. And we concentrate on the one person in the audience who is knocking us. I'm not quite sure how the rest of today's vlog is going to pan out, but it is going to be positive. I have just arrived at Duxford. It's air show weekend this weekend, which means there's an awful lot of really good aircraft and things going on. There are mock dogfights taking place as I speak, above with Second World War aircraft. So let's see what happens. <laughs> So how many of you knew that I owned my own airline? <laughs> anyway, it's great fun down here at Duxford. I've done loads of vlogs about it before, so you, well, two anyway. So you can check those out if you want to know more. I haven't done for a few days, well for a couple of weeks actually, I haven't done a Q&A. So let's do a Q&A by a tank. The first Friday Air Show is coming 8th and 9th of July. So let's fire away with the questions. Gabriel asked me uh, what Alta do I play? I play Yanagasawa 991B and the W01. There are, the 991B is reviewed here and you can watch the W01 just kind of search for it sorry there's a plane taking off now I don't want to go over giant steps it's flogging a dead horse I've said my piece if you've got something to say create a video about it please do please join this creative community and build your own house build your own kind of reputation on things Chris D said that he um, enjoyed the sound mirror I think and bought one after it well done Chris it's a really really good idea I've got to say I really enjoyed playing with it. That last vlog I did last Saturday when I was outside playing at that outdoor gig, having that sound mirror was fantastic. It was such a help in order to kind of help me with my sound. Um, Luthart Learning said he, he was going to stick with GarageBand and go upgrade to Logic Pro. Well, that's fine. There's quite a few other videos I've seen knocking around now of people sharing the same opinion I had that Logic is great for musicians, but if you're an engineer, or you want to do engineering, you have to kind of get your head around Pro Tools at some point. Um, Jess asked me, could I talk about triadic pairs in the next video? How to use them? I will talk about triadic pairs in another video, Jess. Um, there is a great book 
uh, on triadic pairs, which I'll try and remember and include in that vlog, but Jess, I will come back to that. Yusef came out with one, if there is a saxophone player who hasn't encountered a sticky G-sharp, they need to be idolised and release their secrets. I agree with you. Um, one of the big things, though, about sticky G-sharps, as I think I said in that last video, is that the springs are really important as well. It's kind of often an overlooked thing. We think we need to clean the tone hole or clean the pad, and actually that G, those two G-sharp springs are really crucial on the instrument as well. And Andrew said, top tip, no sticky sugary drinks, coke, fruit juice, beer, wine. Is there a vlog in? Should I have a beer on the gig? Yeah, of course you should have a beer on the gig. Good grief. Anyway, thank you for watching Q&A. I'm going to have a look around these tanks. At the garden centre, now to do some barbecue shopping with my favourite assistant. Hello, Charlie. Yeah. Should we go and get a barbecue? Hello. Hello. It works. That kind of information is good to know. Oh, good pigs. Look at those dogs. Mm -hmm. Almost like Walter. Bigger than you, I could. I'm going to win it. I think I could fuck you on this. If you've ever seen the Homer Simpson episode with the barbecue, this could turn into it. Wow. <laughs> swear once. Didn't really break the camera though. It's an absolutely gorgeous evening tonight. You can probably get the sun on my uh, face there. I'm sorry if today's been a bit of a weird vlog. I'm still a bit, if I'm honest, I'm a bit down about not being able to play with this mouth infection. I'm hoping it'll clear really soon. I'm out with the drone. Our Prime Minister here in Britain, Theresa May, thinks there's nothing as naughty as running through fields of wheat. Hmm. But... I disagree with her. I think there's nothing as naughty as flying a drone through a field of wheat. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you really, really soon.